So here in front of me, I have the next generation of the Volca FM. So what makes it the new generation, there's a few layout differences and there's a few improvements and or additions that they've made uh, in comparison to the OG Volca FM, which is what we'll be looking at in this video. putting together some sequences and going through practical uses of all of the new features. This video is sponsored by DistroKid. They're a company that distributes around one third of the world's music and there's a reason for that. They're affordable and also way ahead of the game on having countless free promotional tools for your music, which are extremely social media friendly, which in my opinion is an absolute must these days. If you plan on joining, make sure to use the 7% discount linked in the description of this video. We'll be talking about one of their free promotional tools, which is called Hyperfollow. It's essentially a link in bio link. More on that later in this video. Disclaimer that while I have done some research and played a little bit hands-on with previous uh, Volca models, this is the first Volca that I've actually owned. So if there's a particular approach or anything you'd like for me to include in a future Volca FM video, let me know in the comments. So we'll start with the layout. Cosmetically, the color scheme of the LEDs and the front panel have changed compared to the older Volca model. No major changes there. It's still tiny and pretty much the exact same size as the OG as well. So if you have some sort of case or cover for it, then you could easily just swap that over. Shout out to Animal Cases. And I have my Keystep 37 off to the side here. You could of course use the Volca keyboard to record something, but for me, it just, it doesn't really do it. I'm not like a trained keyboard player or anything. Like maybe I'm just not coordinated enough to use this keyboard, but it definitely is uh, a little bit difficult to use, which is why I just have it hooked up to an actual keyboard. Let's run through a few of these presets. As a new Volca FM user, I am super impressed by how great this thing sounds. So right off the bat, there's another change they made. Instead of having a metronome button that you could turn off and on, when you hit record, the metronome auto turns on. And when I turn record off, the metronome goes off. So let's just start by recording something into the sequencer. One, two, three. Just as a first impression sort of deal with Volcas in general, sequencing is very chopped up. There are some limits. You're working with one pattern at a time, and if you want anything to save, you have to hit function, write, and then choose where you want to write. So that's the one I just created. So let's say now if I jump to another sequence, that one. Cool, go back to that one. It's saved. I have to do that with every single sequence. That's something that you sort of just have to become used to or else you're just gonna lose all your ideas right away. Uh, it is a bit of a crutch, I would say. On top of this, if you're recording something that's a bit more intricate, like maybe a 16th note pattern, your, your patterns become half as long, in which case you're gonna have to save twice as much. You get what I'm saying? It just means that you'd have to go through this saving process more often and it sort of, like I said, it chops your ideas up into little parts you can't record like a super long idea across several patterns, unfortunately. So from here, let's say I play my pattern. I'm able to change parameters on the fly. Let's say I write this pattern over to the next slot and I want to chain these two together. 
Whoops. So now all of these down here, all of these parameters and functions are not accessible. In order to access those, I have to go to a single pattern. So let's say I want to change the subdivision. Too slow, faster. So that's another general limit with the Volca FM. And speaking of parameters, that actually brings us to another new addition. The older Volca had a chorus effect, which this one also has. And as you can see here, there's also a reverb. You're actually able to adjust these with these two knobs here. So you hit function, this one is for chorus, and then this one is for reverb. Let's hear this. I think that the biggest and best upgrade of this new edition is going from three note polyphony to six note polyphony. So that really opens things up. It makes playing chords like this possible. And also just makes the next generation of the Volca FM a bit more of a beast. It also just makes layering and actual performances easier. So if I play this here. And just to give you a little practical breakdown of this, let's go back to the first sequence I came up with this, in this video. Right, so if I wanted to, I could just rehearse something over top of this. Let's add another layer over top of this. Great, so that's three layers. Let's turn this chord mode back on. We could maybe... Okay, so we're starting to lose notes there. Let's go to less notes. at a certain point notes are going to drop out six notes is still a limit but twice as good as the previous model randomizer is another really cool addition it's basically like a roll the dice type situation that a lot of synths and software synths especially have these days it randomizes the presets of whatever sound that you're on so let's just look at a few examples of that let's go to cherry bass cool let's roll the dice very cool Another one. I like these. These are really good. Okay, so let's choose a completely different preset altogether. This is probably an organ sound. Yes, it is. Roll the dice. Cool. It's <laughs> so cool. These are really high pitched. Yeah, these are great. This Volca FM came with this very complicated looking parameter list. There's also an algorithm list on the other side, which should be available in PDF form online. I'll be honest, haven't looked too far into this yet. I feel like it's a whole other topic uh, for a different video. And by the looks of it, it seems to be the same deal as previous Volca FM. So I'm pretty sure it's covered elsewhere on YouTube by this point. But to me, based on what you just heard, the program random button is sort of like a cheat code around using this thing. You don't have to dive into the guts of the instrument and you still have a bunch of other presets and starting points to work from. And then there's the final edition. This is the very first Volca model of any sort that has TRS out, which allows you to use the new Volca FM as a sequencer for other instruments. Again, this is not possible with any other Volca model.
So we obviously didn't cover every aspect of this wonderful instrument. This was more focused on all of the new additions of the new Volca FM. Now let's take a look at my favorite music distributor. DistroKit. First off, there is a 7% discount in the description of this video, so go get it if you're on the lookout. They have this free feature called Hyperfollow, which is essentially a link in bio link. Up until a few months ago, I was actually paying for this exact same service, so you could actually be saving money by using Hyperfollow. Here's what it looks like. Embed your latest music video, maybe your last single, social links, other important links you wanna lead people to, all in one place. You could also claim as many Hyperfollow pages as you'd like. So as you can see here, I have one specifically for my music music to funnel people to streaming platforms that they actually use. Just one of many reasons to go with DistroKid. They have so many other free promotional tools and other reasons to join. Use that discount link if you're interested. If you're interested in purchasing the new Volca FM and you'd like to support what I do, use the affiliate link in the description of this video as well. If you purchase using that link, I actually make a small commission from the sale at no extra charge to you. Most of the people watching my videos are actually not subscribers, so maybe you, you don't even know that you're a subscriber. Hit that subscribe button if you're into these sort of videos. Like, comment, boost the algorithm, do all the things if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thanks again for being here, folks, and I hope to see you very soon. Cheers.